assume we are having this function. Now in this function, there are some locations where the function is assuming a value 1. Here in these locations, the function is assuming a value 1. And there are some locations where the function is assuming a value 0. Okay. Now, these locations where the function is assuming a value 1, I can represent these locations like this also. For example, here this is 0, 0, 1. For A it is 0, for B it is 0, for C it is 1. So, I can write it as A complement, B complement, C. You can write it as A, B complement, C. You can write it as A, B, C complement. And you can write it as A, B and C. So, for the locations where the function is assuming a value 1, I can write these locations as A complement, B complement, C plus A, B complement, C plus A, B, C complement plus A, B, C. Now, in this complete expression, this complete, this is a min term. 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 And this is a min term all these locations where the function is assuming a value 1 represents a min term. Now by looking at this you can clearly see for this particular combination for any particular combination uh, this particular combination will only get a value 1 for a one single combination of a b and c. For example if we pass 0 0 1 0 in a 0 in b and 1 in C, then only this combination is going to give you a value 1, otherwise this combination will give you a value 0. In the same way, for this particular combination, this particular combination will give you, give you a value 1 for exactly one possible combination of A, B and C. Now this combination will give you a value 1 for exactly one particular combination of A, B and C. For this combination, it will give you a value 1 for exactly one combination of value of for A, B and C. So if I write, what is a min term? A min term a main term is a product term where the variables can be either in complemented or uncomplemented form. So, what is a main term? A main term, a main term is a product term, is a product term where the variables can be, where the variables can be, where the variables can be, where the variables can be either in complemented either in complemented or uncomplemented form either in complemented or uncomplemented form for example for example here in this expression this complete is a min term in this expression this complete min term a and b are in complemented form and c is uncomplemented form here a b and c all these three are in uncomplemented form. Here A and B are in un un uncomplemented form and C is in complemented form. So min term is a product term because for these three variables we have product. So a min term is a product term where the I variables are either in complemented or uncomplemented form. And the second point is a min term a min term assumes a value 0 so assumes a value 1 assumes a value 1 for exactly one combination of variables for exactly one combination of values of variables values of variables for example this expression is going to give you 1 only if you pass 0 0 1 if you pass anything other than 0 0 1 then this expression this min term is not going to give you a value which is 1 for this min term, this min term is only going to give you a value 1 if you pass 1, 1 and 1. 1 for A, 1 for B and 1 for C. If you pass anything other than 1, 1, 1, this expression will not going to give you a value which is 1. Okay. Now for example, assume this. Uh, if, a, if you have a function like this, let us assume a function is A plus BC. A function is A plus BC. And assume this is a function F2. So this function f2 can also be denoted like this. This is f2. Here it is a plus bc. That means this function is going to give you true if either a is true or b and c both are true. So this function f2 can also be represented like this. Either a is true. a is true at these locations 1, 1, 1, 1 or b and c both are true. b and c both are true at this location. Otherwise it is going to give you value 0. 
this function can be represented like this right now this function so you can write this complete function like this also you can also write it like this so this location is noting a complement bc it is a complement bc this location is noting a b complement c complement plus a b complement c complement plus this location is noting a b complement c a b complement c plus this location is noting a b c complement a b c complement plus this location noting a b and c it is noting a b and c this is the function f2 so we can represent a function f2 like this and we can also represent a function f2 like this here in this function this complete is a min term and this is a min term because itself is a product term because instead of b and c we are taking a value which is 1 right and here in this expression this is a min term this is a min term these these and these all these are min terms right but the difference here is this function f2 will be representing a canonical form or you can say canonical collection of min terms canonical collection of min terms canonical collection of min terms and it is also called as canonical canonical sum of products canonical sum of products or you can say canonical sop this expression can only be called as sum of products sum of products or you can say sop so what is the difference between the canonical sop and sop is in case of canonical sop all the locations where we are having the value 1 we are going to represent all these locations with all the three variables here we have three variables for so in every min term we should have the three variables in case of canonical sop if we have a three variable function then every min term should have three variable if you have a four variable uh, exp, uh, function then every min term should have a four variable but here in this in this function f2 a is not having three variables a as well as bc is not also also not having three variables so this function f2 is only sum of product so why do we call it sum of product because you can see this is a product term this is a product term a min term is also called as product term this is a product term and we are adding or we are doing some of this product term therefore it is called as sum of product form we are, therefore it is called as sum of product form so a min term is assuming a value 1 a min term is assuming a value 1 for exactly one combination of variables now if in a function you represent all the min terms in such a way that uh, all the variables which are present inside the function all these variables are in the in those min terms then it is called as canonical min terms or you can say canonical sum of product or this kind of product term is called as sum of product form okay so let me show you uh, let me give you a definition of of this so if i call the sum of all um, so if I say the sum of all min terms of function f for which f assumes 1 is called a canonical product of sum or disjunctive normal form or you can say if I say the sum of all the sum of all min terms of f for which for which f assumes a true value f assumes a true value true value means we are talking about the value which is 1 for which f assumes a true value is called as is called as canonical sum of product canonical sum of product so this is representing a canonical sum of product okay now the locations where the function is assuming a value 0 th that gives a canonical product of sum for example here in this case you can see this location this location and this location so in all these three locations the function is assuming a value 0 so for the first location can be denoted by a plus b plus c because whenever we are getting 0 I am writing it as uncomplemented form and here we, get, we are getting a plus b plus c complement 
and this is expression is getting a plus b complement plus c so what is the difference between a min term so these, these, these are actually called as max term these are called as max term or or product of sums uh, how will we write product of sum forms so uh, these are some terms so i can write it like this a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c complement dot a plus b complement plus c so these are the product term these are the product terms these are the product terms so what is the difference between a sum term and a product term these product term assumes a value 0 for exactly one combination of variables and these sum terms assumes a value 1 for exactly one combination of variables okay so for example here if you pass here if you pass 0 0 0 then only the value of these sum terms will be 0 right so here we are in term in case of min terms we are looking at a value 1 in case of max terms we are looking at a value 0 so wherever we are getting zeros we can represent these locations by product terms like this a plus b plus c and if we pass anything other than 0 0 0 if we pass anything other than 0 0 0 then these values will be 1 so we are interested in in case of product terms we are interested uh, so in case of uh, in case of max terms we discuss about the value 0. Okay, let me elaborate it again. Uh, 